Uh, artworks uh, are, pre are pretty in their own special way, Peter. Everything's been interested in wildlife on a global level as well. He's very interested in all things endangered and rare and, and haven't been seen before. But um, the first thing that jumps to mind for me is a mole rat. Mole rats, that's a good one, eh? What other animals are out there that, that don't quite feature in the, in the pretty parts of books? A couple of bat species. Yeah. A hard one. You seem to find a lot of... Oh, sort of purely from a human point of view. I mean, obviously one mole rat to another is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, give me five minutes and I'll, I'll, I'll come up with something. Alex is going to give us his one species of uh, <laughs> not quite so pretty animal. So there we go. Tell me about an eye eye, Alex. It's a species of. Uh, uh, it's a species of lemur. Yeah. And, uh, it has these long fingers that it knocks on the wood, you know, yeah. to find its prey. So it, it eats larvae inside, uh, inside the, uh, all dead trees or yeah. tree hollow trees, and it knocks on the wood to find the, uh, or to find like the sound it's looking for to. Yeah. It has big ears and yeah, it looks weird. Uh, it looks very strange. But not not weird, cute. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do seem to find them pretty as well, but. I I. I I. How do you spell that, Alex? Sorry. How do you spell I I? Uh, straightforward. A like like a I. Y. Yeah. Oh no, A A. Oh, a Y A Y. Yeah. I think. Around the insect world. So we're approaching Bifosuk Dam now. Beautiful shadow, perfect mimicry of the shape of the neck and the head. Close up, he's digging. What's his plan there? Front again, quickly, please. What's that? All right, let's stop here again. <laughs> Must have heard something. You saw it's like stops whichever is put in the air at the time, doesn't even put out oh, no more. I've always been fascinated by them. They <laughs> just look like they, they could be a lot of fun to watch for a while. Uh, let's stick with them a bit more. Plus, it's also good driving practice. I never thought I'd have to learn again how to drive. It's certainly a different way of doing it. There could be some food there. You see, there's a dead log lying there, a little bush to the right. All good places for little uh, white-tailed mongoose dinner snacks to be hiding in.
Well, I'm quite a firm believer in the concept of too much of a good thing is fantastic. And, um, I think I'm going to leave this mongoose for now.